Welcome back, fellow Highland rabble. This is episode two of the Scotland campaign in Stainless Steel 6.4. And currently we are under siege. Our capital is under siege by the English. They just came out of nowhere and attacked us. So we have to uh, take care of that. Also, uh, the King's army over here is taking over Ireland one city at a time. Now, I'm thinking about just leaving my king here and capturing all of Ireland. But if I lose my capital, if I lose this battle, I will send the king's army over here and retake my capital. So a little speed bump, but hopefully my men can, can hold. By the way, I know a couple people wanted huge scale units. I can't change that. Once I start the campaign, I can't change that. But I tried going back, replaying the campaign because we only, we only did one part. I tried to replay it exactly, but things happened differently and it just wasn't the same. So I'm sorry, we're just going to stick to normal scale. But I, to me personally, it doesn't really make a difference. I think normal scale is a good size. It's very still very epic and stuff. So next campaign, I'll do huge scale. I apologize, guys. I'm just so used to online where everything's just normal scale. Alright, so... Um, I think I'm going to send my fleet back up north because someone said in the comments is actually a pretty, pretty good idea. I can transport troops between these two cities really quickly with the navy. So let's go ahead and get my navy back to the capital port. And let's see, our turn, from what I remember, our turn just started from the last episode. We'll go ahead and retrain there. And, um... Huh, da 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 We'll get a brothel so we can get more spies. It's always a good thing. Keep the men happy with a nice brothel. And over here, we're still building. But after this, or we're building stables. Uh, after this, we'll get a uh, better archers. And then we can recruit some troops here. We definitely need these troops. We'll go ahead and march a small force. March! And eventually they can come down to the capital and support them. Oh, by the way, guys, let me adjust my sound. My music is really loud. I noticed that in my last online battle. So I'm just going to turn it down a wee bit. Uh, if this is too quiet, let me know. That way I can fix it. Because I want the perfect sound. The perfect sound. Um, I could always just take this general and attack. But I'm going to wait until I have these troops. I could always recruit some reinforcements like mercenaries. Um, Alright, we building everywhere? We are. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. See if England attacks us. Alright, it looks like they're sending more reinforcements. More reinforcements on the way. My lord, what shall we do? <laughs> No one can conquer the Scottish. Oh, okay. So the Polish leader is dead. We are now 19th overall. So we're going up there in rankings. Um, so let's get marching. Let's take this general. Uh, we should probably leave one unit behind. Um, let's send him right here. Yes, we will slaughter them so he's kind of sandwiched between two armies let's go ahead and attack oh we don't get reinforcements what is this blasphemy all right well never mind um damn i don't know why it's like that i thought he was close enough i guess not i also need to turn off auto manage we'll just put it at a balanced build here there we go Alright, so can we move out the king and conquer all of Ireland yet? Let's see. We have to leave behind a couple of units, that's for sure. Can we just leave behind... Let's see, we might be able to leave behind... Yes, we can. We're just leaving behind one unit. And we will march. I'm not sure where the city is, but I'm just going to follow the road. The yellow big road. Uh, I guess it's somewhere over here. Um, bu 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 I got this fleet here. I don't necessarily need it, but I guess I'll send it up here to uh, join up this fleet. Okay. Ingwin. Ingwin. Let's see. I can get some mercenary. Ooh, Gwent Raiders. 
Gale Glyke. Uh, it's going to be very expensive. I'll get the Raiders because they're not too bad. And I'll get some uh, Irish Kerns. Yes, mercenary captain, well done. Where's the fight? <laughs> Where's the fight? Gotta love the Scottish. Alright, um, I think we're pretty good on military-wise, especially after buying those mercenaries. So we're gonna not recruit any more units. Um, Alright, so let's just make sure we're building everywhere. Okay, let's end the turn. England, are you sure you want to do this, buddy? You want to attack me? A ceasefire! This time. Should I accept? I know if I don't accept, the pub's going to get really mad. Uh, I'm going to say no and see what happens here. Until we meet again, oh, jeez. They are stacking up an army. Maybe I should have called a ceasefire. Uh, honestly, I don't want this, like, back and forth where ceasefire, and then they attack me, and then ceasefire. Oh, the Turks leader is dead. We're now 20th overall. Financially, we're still pretty strong. Well, let's go ahead and attack this, this guy. Alright, let us control the AI here. This is pretty good odds for us, so I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Yeah, we are on the battlefield. Uh, we're going to wait for the reinforcements. So we're going to go up, up. Oh, this is perfect. Going to go up this hill. Let's take all my infantry. I don't really have a lot of skirmishers. I just have that one jabby unit. The Irish Kerns. So here's my ragtag army. And here are the... Eng oh, crap. My reinforcements are super close to the English. And he has a lot of uh, archers, so I can't really sit back. Alright, march. Oop, march. Alright, once they all get in position. We have to be a little aggressive here. Um, we're gonna fast forward. So this army way over here can get their, their asses over here. And let's group up the spearmen here. Do a single line formation. Form up, men. And let's get my general. General. And these are my. Uh, oh, this is Highland rabble. Just get them there. So we don't have any. We don't have any skirmishers here in this army. We only have one Javi unit. Uh, that's not really going to be enough, but so we're going to have to rush him down because we really can't skirmish against them Since he has like one two three four units of archers the good news is that we have some cav we have some generals so we can run them down um, So I'm gonna cut it here guys until this re this other army is in position Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, the English are kind of repositioning here. So we are going to march forward before he gets too many volleys off. So let's go ahead and rush up there, men. Get the rabble involved. Get the general flanking up the hill. Charge! And then we'll get this infantry. They're going to be a little tired, but we really need them to charge in. And we need the other general to get up there. Move now! Oh man, I forgot, like, stainless steel, the troops are a lot slower. Uh, because it's, it's more realistic. Look at this. My spears. My troops are gonna be really tired. I don't know if I should run them all the way up here. I just got kind of anxious because the English were starting to move. But they're not gonna have enough to do anything. Alright, Spears, Rabble, and then other units flank around. Oh, they're shooting at my general. I'm losing. 
Oh, look at this. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh, spears. Uh oh, I'm behind enemy lines. Get out of there. Get out of there, good boy. Oh, he's breaking already. Their front lines already breaking. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Oh ho ho! Alright, let's make sure we run down all their forces. How dare they come into our lands, threaten our people, and then want a ceasefire. This is unacceptable. And we have no mercy for such tidings. Let's make sure I get my general out of there. Only half the enemy force remains. Only half the enemy force remains. Alright, so let's see. What unit is not breaking? That unit. Run them down, general. Chase. Could you imagine being English right now? Just like, oh my god, they're everywhere! Please surrender. Please surrender. It's quite sad, really. War as hell. Alright, let's make sure we kill these archers. Oh, they're gonna get away, I bet. Let's make sure. Kill the archers. They're the uh, main issue. Main, main problem that I'm worried about from the English. As long as they don't get the Welsh mercenaries. They have some amazing bows. Alright, come on, General. Alright, sorry guys, let me fast forward, because this is not the most exciting thing. Alright, we've killed almost 80%. There we go, now we've killed 80%. And then, I just, I have to make sure I kill all of these bastards. If you want to see me, like, just edit out me running down the, uh, retreating forces, just let me know, and I'll be happy to do that. If enough people, you know, don't enjoy watching me slaughter the enemy, then I will, I will cut it out. And then I've got my, my, uh, raiders here. Gwent raiders. Alright, that's good enough, guys. So let's exit. We lost 58 men. And uh, we killed only 254, but captured almost 300. So, uh, good day for us. Alright, um, let's ransom. Oh, they accepted it. Okay. Alright, so, so I'm showing some mercy. You know, we, we, um... You know, we're, I don't know. I guess we'll show some mercy at, at the start, but if they pull that crap again, no mercy. <laughs> um, so this is my prince, and I'm thinking about putting him, stationing, stationing him at the capital and moving him. There we go, we'll do that instead. I prefer that much more. Let's go ahead and retrain my spears, and eventually we'll get a ballista, because we're going to turn this on the English. And now the king over here is on his little crusade. There we go. Here is a settlement. Alright, starting with the siege. Alright, we do have a... Ooh, yeoman archers? Ooh, this might be a tough force. But we do have some uh, border horse. Uh, I'm really paranoid that my music is a little too loud. So I'm going to turn it. continue to turn it down a little bit more. Uh, if it's not, let me know again. It's hard to, because uh, my headphones are broken, only one side is working, so it's hard to tell if something's too loud. So let us prepare for the next wave of the English. Maybe we can meet them on the battlefield. I would love to have more archers first, though. So I'm going to invest, as soon as I finish this building, I'll be able to get some uh, Highland archers. Yeah. Alright, and over here, we need to build something. What would they need? Let's see, Ballista Maker. Maybe a small church to help convert the people, though I, I think they're already Catholic. 
Uh, let's just get a small church. Um, well, this is good. We're good. And we will continue to prepare for the English. Let's move this fleet down. Unite. Joining the fleet. And as soon as we get our ballista and a couple more archers, we're going to be more offensive and take out York and slowly take out the English. So we'll go ahead and end the turn. Oh, I completely forgot about my diplomat that's in uh, Europe right now. Oh, where's he going? Being sneaky. Being super sneaky. Alright, bride presented. Um, sure. Another leader is dead. We're now 21st overall. We're first, but added two before that. Diplomat information. These are war at war with each other, which uh, this is no surprise here. The Moors and Spain and stuff. Not a surprise. And we have a marriage. Uh, we should probably check out the family tree before I end this episode. Uh, I don't think we're close to the end, though. Let's find the Holy Roman Empire. There's somewhere over here. Somewhere. The empire lays. Um, Alright. So we can continue to build in here. What do we need here? Tax income bonus? We'll go ahead and invest in that. Because uh, pretty soon finances are going to be pretty important. Because we're going to have a pretty large scale war against the English. We'll get a leather tanner over here. And over here we're still building. Still waiting on those options. Um, we can attack right here. I'm pretty sure I can... Oh, why is this so close? Why is it so close when they have 77 men? <sighs> Let's just maintain siege. I'm not in a rush right now. In fact, if he could just attack me, that would be great. I, I just... The problem with early game is you attack those wooden castles and your troops suck and they just get destroyed from the archer towers i'd rather just save lives and wait it out a little bit so hopefully that's not a big deal to you guys um just double checking making sure, making sure we have um some some stuff going on some construction i think i'm gonna invest in more highlanders because this army isn't very professional i'd rather have more highlanders than uh, spear militia so let's end the turn once again All right, England is being a little little bit more defensive, or not. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're going for Wales. All I know is that York is undefended, so I might be a little aggressive here uh, sooner than I thought. Depending where that large army is going. So we should probably send my spy over there. The king of France is dead. Our ally. We will send him a gift. Oh, uh, okay, so... Hmm. I hope he's not going to, uh... I hope he's not going to Dublin. I hope he's gonna attack Wales there. Did I just hear Danny Boy? That's awesome. Danny Boy! Alright, um... I guess... Crap. Um... Maybe we should recruit some units <laughs> in case the English come. But, you know, it's if they travel by boat here, ship, it's not a big deal because my king is pretty close by. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to take this settlement in a couple of turns. I really hope he just attacks the Welsh rebels. I really do. Uh, what is this? What is this? It's auto resolve. Average victory. Very cool. All right, so we made this little fleet here a little bit better, the commander. Oh, great. Now he's hidden behind a capital. Hey, come on. There we are. Get back inside. Maybe we can retrain. Yes, we can. As soon as we can. Pretty soon. And over here, let's continue to grow our empire. Um, our kingdom, I should say. Um, oh, that means we can recruit archers now. 
Leviatras. Very nice. And we'll get some more Highland troops. And we will build... I guess we can get some land clearance. Or let's get a leather tanner. Because this is like my military hub right here. So I'm going to get some awesome units. And hopefully the city surrenders pretty soon. So let's keep an eye out on this English force. It's a pretty mean force. There's no general though? Or can I just not see him? I don't think I can see him. Look at this. We got some trade going on with the French. Oh, my diplomat. That's right. Let's move my diplomat. Um, oh, we are currently in a Holy Roman Empire territory. There we go. There they are. Alright, let us end the turn. So I hope you're enjoying this campaign so far. I'm having a blast. It's a lot of fun. Really glad I'm doing some stainless steel. I know that not everybody wanted Scotland. And it, guys, it was a tough decision. Because I knew whatever faction I picked, I would upset somebody. You know, whether I went with Norway, all the people who wanted Scotland would be upset. If I picked, you know, the Holy Roman Empire, everybody who wanted the Crusader States would be upset. But nonetheless, I hope you can enjoy this campaign because it is really fun it is just a lot of fun um all right so we've got our army growing over here let us go ahead and man look at all these fleets england send their send in their entire navy let's go ahead oh we have another ballista and, oh wait, this is, <laughs> this is my army over here. I was I thought I was looking at this army. So let's go ahead and move uh, this army. March them down. It's going to take a couple turns. But I think after this, I, I mean, honestly, I'd love to have more archers. But don't really have the population, I think. So I'm going to just take what I have here and begin my war campaign against the English. Um, where are the English? On my way. Um, oh, wait. Okay, he's sieging. The, okay, good. Uh, doing what England does best, attacking wells. Uh, well, actually, you know, they had some issues against that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, let's, uh, let's make sure we're building everywhere. I'm pretty happy with my army size. This should be able to handle anything. I can get some more border horse. That'd be pretty useful. Having more cav units. And my king is still attacking here. Let's see if the odds are a little bit better. Because honestly, I'd, I don't really want to fight this. Because it's a, it's such a tiny force. Let me see if I if I attack this unit. Will they show up as reinforcements? You know what? Let's, let's just attack, guys. This is silly. We need to take this now. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield. All right, another snowy siege. Get used to the snow. Let's start the moment. This is going to be fairly easy because he has one unit. I don't know why he had such great odds in the auto resolve. But all we're going to do is rush forward the ram. We've got our Irish Kerns leading the way against their fellow people, which is always hilarious. I'm pretty sure all we're going to need is the ram. But I'll go ahead and leave one unit um, on the ladders. In case I need to flank around. Um, archers. This is where all my Highland archers are. They're very excellent at shooting their bows. And we'll get my cav in position. And let's start. Let's go ahead and fast forward, guys. Because this really isn't going to be uh, a big deal. Look, at it, he's retreating to the town center. So this isn't going to be anything crazy but I want to show you the battle I don't want to auto resolve all the time the yeoman archers they're pretty they're pretty good but not good enough against a bunch of angry Scots all right here we are going to the wall Raise the ladder. Our men have reached the walls with our ladders. yes we have the gate with a battering ram. <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. It takes a, a longer time to knock down these gates. 
Look at he's like missing. His yeoman archers are missing. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. The okay, there we go. Finally. Now is the time for I was gonna say we didn't even have to knock it down. I just captured it with my units. So let's take all my Highlanders and charge! Take the general in there, the king, for morale purposes. Here we go. For Scotland, boys! The boys in blue. And this was the time before they had uh, the St. Andrews uh, flag there. So, I originally, when I was making the thumbnail, I was going to use the St. Andrews flag, but I was like, you know, technically, they didn't start using that till like, what, 1500s or something like that. So, um, I just went with the um, more historically accurate flag, which is a really cool, cool flag. I forgot the name of it, but uh, I was doing some research on Scottish flags, and they have some pretty awesome flags. Alright, so let's fast forward, because... This is not the most epic of fights. The enemy are badly bloodied. There's our commander getting slapped the by a Highlander. Dead. <laughs> sent the car to hell. Yeah, by we did. By St. Andrew. Uh, the reason they have that cross uh, was because of m myth or legend is that St. Andrew died on a a X-shaped cross. Uh, okay, so the king, the wise, I like that title, um, killed, let's see, we lost 35 men, but we killed 72. A good victory for Scotland. Yes. All right, let's, um, let's just occupy. We don't really get a lot for sacking it. It's not worth it. Um, we can't really retrain anyone. We can build a small chapel, though. And that's good for now. Uh, we're just going to station this army until we uh, calm the population. Though they're pretty happy, so we might be able to move out here. Oh, that's all of Ireland, guys. We just captured all of Ireland. So we've got all of Ireland. We are growing at a very fast rate. And pretty soon, we are going to attack England. We have a couple more minutes here, but not really enough for a battle. So let's look at our construction situation. Let's get... Okay, we're still on this turn. Alright, so I think we can end the turn because we did everything here. Yeah, let's end it. The Holy Roman Empire, yes. Let's uh, trade rights. And uh, let's let's ask for some money. I, I haven't really been taking advantage of this diplomacy-wise. So make offer map information, but demand single payment. And let's try to get like a thousand gold. A thousand, let's try two thousand. I doubt the Kaiser. All right, all right, all right. I think we're asking. Let's just get trade rights with them. Forget this oh, now. did I make him mad? All right. No, I want to. Damn it. <laughs> Whatever. Damn you, Holy Roman Empire. Huh. I should have just asked for trade rights. He probably would have accepted. I'll try again. But I'm not going to push my luck. Okay, how's that my fault? Whatever. We're now 18th overall. So we're getting stronger, guys. Alright, cool. Someone was promoted. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this army over here. So now that the king has captured Ireland, we can send him back to his homeland and help with the crusade against the English. But let us uh, attack this rebel force real quick. What? What just happened? Yeah, of course it was blocked. Why is this so close? Whatever, let's fight this one real quick. All right, let's start deployment. Let's not make this too long, guys. So let's group up. It's not really going to need a lot of strategy here. It probably has some decent units, but my uh, Highland archers should be able to handle them. And my Highland uh, soldiers here. Let's get Irish kerns. Horses on the flanks. And we will start. 
Let's move forward. Move forward the arches. Irish Kearns. Let's see what they have. Uh, spearmen, yeoman archers, and some hobblers. All right, let's fast forward. Oh, jeez. All right, we need to quickly move forward here. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Those yeoman archers have a uh, wonderful range. So let's quickly get my cav over here. Archers fire. We need to quickly kill those bows. Oh jeez, they are destroying my army. Oh, he's going after my general now. Alright, so let's be a little quick about it. Destroy this army. Yeah! Oh, we killed the general. Oh, he's charging into- Oh, that was- that was painful. I'm losing a lot of good- a lot of good sons here. Oh, let's get my Irish currents firing. I love the sound effects in this, man. Why are my archers charging forward? The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Very good. So all all I want to do is defeat them really quick. All right. I oh, mean, we lost a lot of troops there, more than more than uh, I wanted. He's got some cab fighting to death. And that should be it. Yeah, so let's end it. We lost 85. Not good, but we killed 209 and captured 56. Alrighty. Hi, King. Alright, cool. So now let's just go back inside here and retrain. Good, I can retrain a lot of my units here, which is good. Um, I'm thinking about just... After I retrain them, then I'll march over the king. How old is the king? 41. He's getting there. Might be dying soon. Unfortunately, the lifespan is a lot shorter in this time period. Alright, and let's march this force down here. Um, let's build a... I guess we'll just build a logging camp. Here we will build... Ooh, a catapult maker. Let's get... Let's just get a church... And over here, let's just, well, uh, we're building here. So that's all good, guys. So I'm going to end the episode here. This has been episode two of Scotland, Stainless Steel 6.4. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys.